What is up, y'all? Damn, it feels good to be back. Well, uh, I'm not completely back, so I won't say I'm back back, but I, I'm here. I'm back at work. J just going to sum it up for y'all real quick. Like, My ass about died. Okay, I, I about died. Oh, my God. I was in the house. I was crying my eyes out. I was puking. I was shitting and puking, puking and shitting. Oh my God! I thought I, I had a stomach bug or something. No, I did not have COVID nineteen. No, I didn't have that nasty ass shit. I just ha had a stomach bug, something like that. I, I called my grandfather and asked him what the fuck it was. He was like, "It's the old fashioned flu." I thought all the flus were the same. I thought a flu was a flu. But apparently it's the old-fashioned flu. So, that, that shit had me on my ass for like two days. Like, I, I was taking that shit on in a fucking boxing ring. And that shit was just straight on. Just, just straight on like hounding my ass. So, I, I completely left the damn dip at the house. I forgot about it. I finally went and picked it up. And so, I was like, fuck it. I was like, I'm going to do this, and didn't do it. Forgot all about it. But, I figured that, you know, since I've been doing a little bit of music reactions, you know, I figured I'd pack, pack, me, a, pack me a big old fat dip, put some tobacco in this jaw, and talk a little bit about some music. And get, get some opinions on my favorite artists and stuff like that, and, you know, maybe check, show you some, some really cool shit. But anyway, besides that, enough of me freaking talking. Remember, y'all, make sure y'all hit that subscribe button if y'all like the video. Make sure you hit that like button. Support me, man. That Y'all help me out a lot. Just y'all doing that, taking time to hit that like button, man, that really helps me out. Make sure y'all leave a comment down below. Let me know how you like the video. Good God. What is hell up in here? So, without further ado, we gonna go ahead and we just gonna, we just gonna jump on up in it. So, go ahead and if you got got a pan your can your freaking tobacco anywhere in there, you go ahead. And make sure you put a big old fat dip with me, cause you know the work don't fucking begin till we got fucking dip in. So just go ahead and oh damn, that's an issue. That right there is a fucking issue. I'm almost out of fucking dip. Damn it. Looks like I'm gonna have to go to the stir later. Pick me up some dip. Got gotta get some dip from the stir. Cause you know, me without dip is like me without dip. It's hell. Mmm. That's a bitch. That's better. Hmm. See, any other time, I would just straight like <laughs> and just chug the shit down. Damn, that shit hot. Hmm. I gotta go get that shit looked at. Hurt like it hurts like hell to put fucking dip on this side. From where it was like literally for the longest time I only dipped on this side. And then me trying to take a dip and move it from this side to this side is just freaking, it's killing me. Because I started dipping continuously on this side and that's just got to where my freaking gums and everything hurt. You know, as much as I hate to say it, I'm really thinking about stopping. But... The chances of me quitting dip are like the chances of freaking Donald Trump getting back in the office. Like, that shit's like slim, slim. Like, slimmer than slim, shady, slim. But, now, um, Up Church dropped his new album. That shit is a freaking banger. Yo, like, I remember I was sitting there, I was literally just sitting there on the couch the other night. 
I was just scrolling through freaking mm, Apple Music. I was just scrolling through that shit. And I was like, bruh, it dropped. I downloaded that shit right away, started listening to that shit. The shit's a banger. This shit is a banger, bro. Straight up, if you haven't gone and checked out his new album, go check out his new album, Mud to Go. Go check that shit out. But, unfortunately, there was like... I'm not going to say it, it was a bad song. Because I really want a bad song. It's just... I guess, like, Paul Wall could have done just a little bit better on the Side Road Fresh remix. Like... I was really expecting the man to, like, boom, go full on, like, all into the shit. And he didn't really go as hard as I thought it was going to go, which was j just a little disappointing. But that doesn't make it not a good song, because it was still a banger-ass song. It, I, honestly, I, I still think it's great. I mean, I want to say right now on the uh, iTunes charts, I want to say... He's number one on the iTunes charts. If you if you think I'm bullshitting, his album's number one. Literally, just hit iTunes and click charts. And look down, it says albums. And number one, Mud to Gold by Ryan Upchurch. That shit was, shit was straight awesome. Like, I foresee Ryan Upchurch going somewhere in 2021. That man's going to be going somewhere. Also, Adam Calhoun. I... That, that's my man, Adam. He, he makes some killer ass shit too. That that man, he, he's going to be taking some big fucking steps this year. I heard that he's getting ready to go do his own thing, build his own platform, his own website, stuff like that. And that shit's cool as hell. I mean, I, I really think that with the way stuff is going now in the music scene, and, you know, it's kind of like, from my point of view, it's like the way the labels are trying to put it out there is, hey, you're nothing without me. You need me to make money. You need me to sell records. And honestly, that, that isn't the case. You don't, I guess, I'm not I'm not a music expert, so don't, so don't even think I'm a music expert. Don't even be down in my comments like, oh, so you think you're a music expert now, huh? Oh, so you know so much about music, don't you? You just know so much about it. No, I'm not a freaking music expert. So calm, calm yourself down. Chill out. Go sit in the corner. I'm just stating my opinion on it. That's all I'm doing. It seems like... Kind of like the record labels are kind of like... Well, you're never going to get anywhere without us. You need us. And honestly, that's not the truth. You don't... I mean, in some cases, I guess it helps. I mean, I guess it would help you out, you know, to have a record label, you know, get get your music out there, get your name out there. Because, I mean, a lot of people do listen to people that have record labels. And they'd be like, oh, well, this person signed to this label, and I listen to this person that's from this label. Well, heck, let's check him out. But it, it's just, it's a little bit harder to come up as... An independent artist, because being an independent artist just starting out, you know, you're kind of like, you're fighting everybody. Everybody that's already been in the game for a while, you know, you're fighting them. You, you're trying to, well, you're not really fighting them, but you're competing with them. It's kind of like a race. You're competing with them. You're trying to try and get the best spot, like NASCAR. You know, you're going in and out, you know, you're trying to make the best decisions so you can get here ahead of this person. And that's pretty much all it is. But, I mean... At the end of the day, people are going to like you for who you are. People are going to like you for you. Either you're going to like you for your music, or they're going to like you because of your personality, or just because you speak the truth and you're a fun person to be around. At the end of the day, honest to God. And I think that's why people like Ryan so much, is because, you know, he's he's up front, he's honest. He, he has a great stage presence. He's just a fun person when he's on camera. He relates to a lot of his people and his audience. Stuff like that. Like Adam Calhoun. Adam Calhoun, you know, he's a real honest guy. He's a real funny guy. He's real down to earth. He knows what he's doing. This man, that man has been to hell and back. 
He, he knows exactly what the heck's going on. And he's not scared to speak his mind and speak his truth. And honestly, that, that's why I'm, I, I honestly really like Adam. Because he he's not scared to call the world out on his bullshit. That, that's it. He's just, he's not scared to do it. But I did want to talk a little bit about this. I do have, um, I am going to have some newer videos coming out. Uh, I'm going to try to work on getting some truck videos done here within the next, I'm hoping to have some out this month. I'm going to work on getting some truck videos done for y'all. Uh, we're going to be doing some more music reactions. I'm going to try to do a reaction on the whole album, Mud to Gold. Uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to, I mean, we, there's just a bunch of stuff on my to-do list. There's, it's just a shit ton of stuff on my to-do list and it's really hard for me to try to do it all. I mean, it's hard for me to cram it all in with work, this and that, but we just going to make it happen. We are going to make this shit happen and we're going, we're, we're going to, uh, we're going to do it together. Not just me. I'm not just going to grow this channel. We, y'all is fans, subscribers. We, me and y'all are going to do this together and we're going to build this channel up. And that's what I want. I don't want to be the guy that's like, yeah, well, I'm doing this and I'm doing this. No, I want to be, we are doing this. I won't be able to look at this channel a year, two years, 10 years from the road, down the road from now and be like, yeah, this is something me and my fans, my subscribers, this is something that we built together. It, it was a team effort. It wasn't just me. Uh, that, that's not the way it's going to work. But I got to go ahead. I got to hop off of here. Got to run back up into work, get some work done. So there will be a dip video coming. I'm probably going to drop that thing tomorrow. So make sure you keep an eye out. Make sure you click that bell so you know the second I drop it. So without further ado, I'm going to catch y'all a little bit later. Deuces.